Hi boys and girls, this week we're talking about bugs, and so I thought it would be fun to read this book. It's called Bug Safari. Bug Safari by Bob Barner. And look at all these beautiful flowers. The events described here actually happened to me. The things I learned are recorded to the best of my memory. We can still observe and learn from the great, great ancestors of the very ants I saw that day so very long ago. Well, last summer. And look at all the bugs in this picture. We've got bumblebees, we've got caterpillars, a ladybug. It looks like some kind of beetle. There's some kind of butterfly here, or maybe a moth. I was lost in a bug-infested jungle one hot summer day. I was all alone, looking for a way back to base camp, when I saw a long line of marching black ants. Where could they be going? It looked like an ant safari. Was this the way out of the jungle? I decided to follow. In all of my travels, I had never seen anything like the ant safari. Some of the ants carried things to eat, such as leaves, seeds, or bits of other insects. The ant safari was in a hurry to get somewhere. The ants didn't even look up at the big dragonfly that buzzed over our heads. We headed deeper into the dark, unknown jungle. And look, here's the big dragonfly. I crawled over rocks and through mud. I had to find out where the ants were going. The safari passed under flowers that were humming with honeybees collecting pollen. And look, there they go. I was measuring one of the ants with my ruler when the other ant zoomed past me in a slow and a slow moving dung beetle. I noticed that the ants talked to one another by touching their antenna on top of their heads. They all knew where they were going. They were, were they moving quickly? But to where and what? Look, and it's saying that ants talk by touching their antennas together. That's how they communicate with each other. Then I saw them up ahead, red ants. The black ants were fighting them. The tiny red ants were fierce and bit the black ants. The ants stood their ground and battled for several minutes until the outnumbered red ants finally ran away. One of the black ants took charge. I called it the general. The wounded were treated and the safari continued. I was baking in the sun. I had a drink from my canteen, just one sip left. The ants became very excited. They had come upon a toad sitting in the middle of their path. Most of the ants ran around it, but a few of them got zapped. Why would they keep going with all this danger? Where could they be going? Uh oh, and look, this frog ate one of the ants. Then I saw it, a giant green mantis in the bush above the ants. One of the ants was plucked up and eaten, but all the others marched ahead. They passed under sticky spider webs, spotted beetles, and noisy crickets that made chirping sounds as we passed by. I picked my way through the jungle. I had scraped my knees and cut my finger and needed medical attention. I bravely pressed onward, hoping I would one day see another human being. And look, they all just keep going. All of a sudden, a hairy black spider pounced in front of the ants. The general led the safari around the giant, but I feared the worst. I hid my eyes and ducked for cover. And then with a swooshing sound, the spider was gone. I looked up to see its eight legs wiggling in the beak of a robin. We were all safe for the moment. The general marched on. And look, the bird is going to eat the spider. I was out of the water, famished and covered with bites. Then I heard a faint sound in the distance. I was perfectly still in the brush so I could listen very carefully. A, lo a lone mosquito buzzed past my ear. And look, there's the mosquito. Finally, I heard the call, a human voice, base camp. Lunch was ready and to my surprise, I discovered where the ants were going. Oh, and look. I see that the ants are headed towards something right here. I wonder what it could be. I love a good safari and so do the ants. 
And look, it looks like the ants were headed for his picnic. And it looks, here's an ant and a ladybug and a bumblebee and then a beetle and a moth. And this looks like a stick bug and a praying mantis. It's kind of fun to look at this because there were a lot of bugs in this book. Um, a cricket, a dung beetle, a centipede. It's, this one says it's a stag beetle and it has these kind of sharp little, um, it looks like part of its mouth maybe. The mosquito, a stink bug, a spider, a butterfly, a honeybee, the praying mantis, a caterpillar, dragonfly, little flies, ladybugs, the walking stick, and then the ant, and it talks a little bit about the ant here, how it has its head and its antenna and the legs, and this is called the abdomen, and then this middle part is called the thorax. So those are the parts of a bug. So it's kind of fun if you, next time you're outside, if you look around, I bet you can find a lot of the bugs that are in this book in your own garden. I know I see ants and ladybugs and spiders all the time, so you should look around next time while you're out there. I hope you enjoyed the book. Bye!